everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to show you how I did a simple wood grain tumbler um, with a temporary tattoo on it um, it's super simple doesn't take much time um, if you know anything about tumblers and have watched anybody wood grain tumblers are one of the most stunning there is in my opinion and also one of the easiest to achieve um, but sit back watch the video enjoy and I will see you at the end with the final result hi everybody so today what we are going to do is an easy wood grain tumbler that I'll later put some resin over and then we're going to put this temporary tattoo on it but if you've never done or seen a wood grain it's super easy I sanded and spray painted my tumbler can spray paint it white. I like to do this uh, caramel color. It's a little bit easier um, for the wood grain to pick up those dark hues. Um, any brown will work, but typically what everybody uses and what I use also is this Tim Holtz Ranger, oh sorry, um, teakwood alcohol ink and just give it a good shake. <clears throat> you can use any kind of paintbrush. Some people like using chip brushes. I just use this that I got, I think, Walmart, Michaels, Dollar Store. I'm not sure. It was super cheap and it came in a pack of like 10. Um, so anyway, this is the one I use. Just open it up. And it's really this simple. Um, make sure that some people like wearing gloves. Doesn't matter to me. Um, but make sure you're wearing old clothes and cover your workspace because this does and can get super messy. But you just put a few drops down and then swipe down. And that's literally it. You just do that all the way down the tumbler, all the way across the tumbler. Now for the top, you just, what I do is just pick a direction and go in that direction. And it's as easy as that. Now you have a beautiful wood grain tumbler that looks like paneling, old cabin, whatever, what have you. And then <clears throat> that's it. For cleanup to clean up your brush, you just rub it in alcohol until it, the alcohol comes out clean or you can wash it with Dawn dishwash. I do a combination of both to get my brush clean and then let this dry. I'll let it dry for about 24 hours and then I'll put epoxy on it. I mean it'll it'll dry in about like look it's already dry. Alcohol inks dry super quick um, but to really get it sealed on there um, I'll let it sit for about 24 hours and then put the epoxy on it and then I will come back for next steps. 
Hi everyone, so we're back and after a coat of epoxy on the wood grain, we are ready for the next steps, which is we are going to be putting this temporary tattoo on this tumbler um, just to see what it's like. It's I would like to do it, so I am going to. So clean off, first steps is just clean off your tumbler if you haven't already. Um, I've got a warm bowl of uh, water here. I'm going to trim this up as much as possible. You don't have to worry too much because any edges that show right now will completely disappear once you get the final layers of epoxy on the cup. Now what I'm going to do is try to find where I want to position this because once you take this clear protective coating off of it, you are no longer going to be able to um, ma manipulate it or move it around because this becomes very sticky which is what sticks it onto here. But if you remember these from when you were a kid, same principle. Instead of putting it on your arm, you're putting it on the cup, wetting it down, making it stay, pulling the backing off, and then you'll have your tattoo there. So once I get this where I think I want it, and I always try to leave the straight edge so that I know it's going to be as straight as I can possibly get it, which is not, you, I mean, I'm only human, right? So, now we'll see. Right there. Yep, and once it's down, it's down, and as you can see, it is just a tad bit crooked, but you just take your lukewarm water and wet it down so that it stays in place trying to make sure not to get any wrinkles in it as you're wetting it down. And then I just hold it in place for a couple of seconds. And once it feels like it's going to release, just take it, take the backing, slide it right off and then just if you, you know very carefully make sure if there's any bubbles or anything you can work them out with one of these squeegee makeup brushes just make sure that you get it wet so that you know you're not pulling on the tattoo you're not pulling on it you do the same principle as you would for a a water slide and once it's done you just leave it set to dry I really like that I think it looks really good with the wood backing and like I said any of these like clear outlines that you see once you get the epoxy the next coat of epoxy on here you're not going to see those it's going to blend right in um, but yeah, so now all I'm going to do is let this dry and then it'll be ready for epoxy and the final layers and then it'll be done. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will come back and show you what the final result looks like. Oops, I keep doing that. But this is what it looks like so far. Everybody, thank you for watching this is the final result as you can see it's just beautiful um, the wood grain effect that I got looks like paneling and then with the temporary tattoo put on there I just love it um, I hope you also enjoyed it 
super simple technique, easy to achieve. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.